Hello citizens, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching Transport Fever Metropolis Style. We're not entirely sure what Metropolis Style means yet, but over time we will undoubtedly figure it out together. I've, I've got an idea in my head whether or not it comes off. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, you join me in glorious Sioux Falls, uh, the tail end of the line, or the beginning of the line. In fact, it's, it's the beginning of the line. It is the source uh, of all greatness that will come from uh, from the line, um, and uh, it's not it's not actually that busy. Um, it should be busier. Over time, it will most definitely become busier. That much is absolutely certain. Uh, anyway, before we get on to anything else uh, today, uh, I wanted to just give you a quick uh, a quick overview of something that's changed. Um, so uh, I decided after reflection that uh, I was not happy, yeah, here we go, look at this mountain. Uh, yes, I was, I was decided that, uh, that on reflection, I was unhappy with the, uh, with the, the pebbly mountains. Uh, so I went back and I installed the uh, Clean Cliffs mod. Now, the thing with this mod is it only works at map start. So I have, in fact, rebuilt everything exactly as it was before. Uh, with one with one minor exception, um, and I'll show you that in a moment, um, uh, just to get us back up to speed again. So we're we're pretty much the same length of time into the game as we were previously, uh, but uh, but I've I've cleaned the cliffs up, and, and don't they look better? Now the big thing about uh, clean cliffs mod, you can only do it when you when you generate the map. It doesn't do anything after that point. So if you want to have uh, cliffs that are sans rock. Uh, you need to do that when you set up in the first place. Uh, the one big change that I've done is uh, is I actually uh, actually put the effort in and uh, I've lined my barrels up in a way that I can count. There is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten batches of ten barrels there. So we've got ten that way, ten. So that's a hundred right there. Uh, I put in a couple of lampposts as well because I was feeling that way inclined. Um, but there you go. So that's all set up. We're all good to go. That's where we are state of play wise. Um, so just to, to recap what we've got so far, we have two lines running. Uh, we've got uh, there we go. Uh, we've got the uh, the Sioux Falls main line and the Sioux Falls commuter. Uh, the commuter takes in uh, this empty barren station here. Uh, before taking in this empty barren station here, uh, before heading out to uh, El Paso here, and uh, and then pressing on up to Detroit. Uh, the goal will be that as we head towards Detroit, eventually we will add uh, additional uh, commuter stations along the way, allowing the main line to bypass them all. So, uh, so there'll be a quick route and a short route, hopefully padding out uh, different areas of the map as we progress. And uh, at the moment, it, we've not got a lot of passengers using it, but we do have some. Um, obviously, as the map builds up, that will increase. Uh, but I want to keep an eye on all of this stuff because uh, the, the goal here is, is not to, uh, to fund everything using pork barrels. Uh, or certainly not to keep us afloat using pork barrels, but given this number of trains in uh, in operation right now, uh, that's that's quite likely. Um, and obviously nobody wants to use the commuter, although it is fractionally quicker to get to Detroit, because like a mug, um, I uh, I routed the commuter as the direct line, as it were, so the the straightforward line, whereas the main line actually has to wait to to blend back on again. So I'll fix that up. Uh, once we start thinking about Detroit, okay, so uh, so feel free to start thinking about Detroit in your own time. Uh, there will, of course, be an additional line going up this side to take in the uh, what should we call that? The Eastern, the Eastern Station in uh, in El Paso. In fact, let's get these renamed now. So this will be uh, El Paso East, uh, making this one El Paso West. It sounds so much better than than calling it the Exchange. Uh, El Paso East, El Paso West, great. Uh, and then uh, this will be, uh, I suppose, El Paso uh, South, right? I don't see why not. Uh, if uh, you know, we can we can certainly work in that fashion, uh, which would make this one Sioux Falls North. Yeah, it thinks it's south. No, it's not. It's definitely north. Most definitely north. Um, and that will make this big fella here Sioux Falls. Uh, what are we, uh, Grand Central, Central, there we go, 
All right, smashing. Right, so we've got a bit of naming going on there. The Detroit station we need to actually change up. Uh, but uh, the one the one final thing I did is I made uh, I made these signals look nice. So that allows uh, allows stuff out of the um, uh, out of the depot a little bit easier. Um, I'm tempted to put another row of signals in here, despite the fact that that's uh, that's a perilously dangerous thing to do, is get signals that close to where you've got junctioning going on. Um, but I'm going to leave it for now until it gets a bit more busy. If I see trains queuing on a regular basis, we'll make that change. Uh, anyway, today we're going to get we're going to do a bit of uh, we're going to do a bit of cargo. Uh, today, um, I'll get a, get some freight up in here um, because uh, we don't, you know that's that's going to help grow uh, grow our cities out uh, as much as passengers will. Now, it will help grow them in the sense of it will add um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, industrial areas into towns, but that will add extra town kind of facilities there. To, uh, to get things rolling. So uh, we're going to start out with easy mode, easy mode freight. Well, let's, uh, let's crawl before we walk. Uh, and that is we're going to take oil from here round to uh, the refinery that's over there. Now, the choices we have as far as this is concerned, now obviously our delivery is going to be El Paso and, uh, and Sioux Falls. So we could work our way around the outside thus make a delivery here, and then from here we can deliver out to El Paso, out to Sioux Falls. In fact, we can hit Sioux Falls on the way back, right? That's that's not a, that's not a terrible idea, um, and I may yet stick with it, but uh, but I, I, I like to think differently on occasion, uh, and therefore that's what I may well do. So the other option would be to have a distribution hub around uh, pretty much... Yeah, pretty much around here, because that would allow distribution to Gilbert, Springfield, Detroit, El Paso, Sioux Falls. But that would mean delivering oil up to the hub, and then get that across over to the refinery. And then from the refinery, we bring it back again. It's convoluted, I know. However, it, what this would also mean is we could potentially bring additional oil in from there... And uh, and you know and pad it out, and then as the uh, as the network expands, we could then use this as a central goods repository to serve these let's say these four cities here. Cities, uh, they're they're basically villages, um, but uh, but you get the general idea, right? So let's uh, let's let's do some uh, some pork barrel plunking in order to uh, to uh, to get ourselves hooked up. And, uh, and ready to fly with this particular endeavour. I hope you like the sound of a, of a port barrel being placed because it's about to happen quite a bit. Now, we'll leave a gap before we put this one down so that I can keep a separate batch of 100. Uh, right, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, and uh, nine and uh, ten. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Even placement. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab. Uh, a, ooh, am I gonna grab a hunt? I'll grab enough. Uh, let's do this at high speed, shall we? Now I know what you're saying to yourself. You're saying, "Oh my gosh, she makes that look so easy to put them in a straight line." Honestly. Uh, get the camera angle right, people, and then it's a lot more straightforward than uh, than this hideous, let's get away from it as quickly as possible, mess. Uh, right, okay, so I'm, I'm, we're going to go with the central hub idea. I, I, you know, you know I'm, a, I'm a fan. Um, now, the question is, where's the best place for it? I think it's going to be over here, despite the fact that's going to lead to... Contour map, please. Uh, that's going to lead to a bit of a mess uh, track-wise in getting stuff up there. Also, I have not given any consideration to how one might get uh, a freight line over there, but I suspect it involves a bridge. Uh, but uh, let's let's worry about that in due course. Uh, right, cargo station. Um, now, uh, we'll talk about the small freight station mod in just a moment. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with something uh, a little bit more traditional. Uh, to uh, to get us rolling, however, uh, and we'll start with I don't know. What that, you know why? I'm going to go with three tracks, um, and then we will add additional tracks later, because uh, because that will make it more uh, more entertaining to do a bit. Of, it's going to have to be redeveloped, right? So uh, so we might as well uh, 
might as well plan in for that to happen. Right, there we are. I've placed that down with uh, with with no due care and attention. Right, so next up, we want to get our uh, our oil delivery coming from here. Now, I want to try and use as many of the uh, as as many of the different industries as possible. I won't use them all. I won't get anywhere close to using them all. Um, but you know, I want to give it a good uh, a good uh, a good college try. Uh, as far as as far as actually trying to get uh, get this stuff working, um, and we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. So, uh, despite the fact that this one is arguably a little bit closer, don't want to neglect the fella here. Um, but if you, I mean, if you look at what we got going on, so I mean, I could easily deliver uh, iron ore up to the hub. I could deliver uh, food, you know, kind of food raw materials up to the hub, and this is going to make life a little bit complicated in terms of. Uh, the amount of traffic we're using, but it should make it interesting. Uh, there you go. It should should make it interesting in terms of uh, of the amount of rail traffic we have going on. Uh, right. I've not thought this through at all. Uh, I mean, I know I'm intending to do a bit of redevelopment over time, but uh, you know, there, there is something to be said for getting it right in the first instance. It's amazing what not being too worried about having the capital to fund things uh, does for your gameplay. Arguably, it makes you just a little bit very lazy. Um, but uh, but there it is. Right now, then, how am I going to get? I want to. I want one station over here near El Paso. We've got these curving round, which you've not really paid too much attention to. Now this one here is going to to head out to Gilbert and. Uh, it's going to make a, a tunnel through this kind of mountain section here, just a just a shorty tunnel to get out to Gilbert. Um, but now, of course, it has to uh, has to take into account this uh, this freight line. So maybe if I spin it out round the edge here, uh, and then start going under it to get under the freight line, that would that would probably work quite well. Um, however, the, the the bigger challenge is uh, we've got two lines uh, coming out to uh, toward El Paso. So we've got the Sioux Falls, we've got El Paso, and then uh, from, uh, I don't know, and we've got the refinery. Now we could have the refinery stop along the way and double up the income on there, but actually I want to, uh, I want to dedicate stuff as much as possible. It means moving more things around more freely uh, but uh, but the the end result should be quite appealing. I think the end result will be appealing. That's a that's a more shrewd way of of announcing that. Now we'll go across this. I don't like bulldozing fields, especially on this particular terrain style, where you don't get a lot of variety in terrain going on. There you go. One field will be removed. Forty mile an hour on the income. That's that's not perfect. Now we'll dress this up in a in a in a moment or three and uh, and make that we won't do it today um, and make it look a little better. Now if this continues to go downhill here, we're not going to hit bridge at the time that we want to. Go on, go on, hit bridge like that. That's it, exactly right. Excellent. Right. All right. Smashing. That's uh, that's gone exactly to plan. I think we will go with stone. Now, obviously, I don't want it. Ha I don't want it that high, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pull this in to about here. We'll uh, we'll we'll make sure it's straight in just a sec. But I don't want it going too high. You see, so because uh, if your bridge is too high, it just looks rubbish. Uh, no, right, cancel, and back it up, get it a bit closer, keep going uphill, that's it, like that. Right, now we're going gently uphill, because obviously, in, in, uh, well, theoretically, it will be, uh, it'll be hauling a, uh, a relatively, uh, relatively heavy load. That's about as high as I can, uh, I can tolerate, I think. Do we go straight for the good stuff? I think that's a little bit uh, anachronistic for this for this time of development, even though there were kind of steel wrought iron uh, bridges being developed in Europe. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with stone, and again, that's a little bit European, isn't it? Um, uh, particularly in Britain. And what's uh, 
What's this? Uh, what's this dangling, dangling non sequitur we've got going on here? It's gone. Look, there we go. We can be happy again. Uh, right, continue this way. And the good thing about this, I mean, you know, it, this is no longer a bridge. This is a viaduct. Um, and uh, the good thing about this is it will allow me to street up underneath. Now, I am not going to uh, intentionally make, uh, you know, crazy bridge work all over the show. Uh, that's that's really not what we're about. Uh, but, uh, you know, a, a modicum of bridging here and there in order to get things done, I think, is uh, is a shrewd way to go. Um, equally, I'm not going to work with uh, with every line having a, an independent track. Uh, shared track is uh, is important, but we're you know we're working east to west here uh, on a on a line that is fun well going over the top of a of a north south line. So I don't have a problem with that. What are you? What are, just all I'm after is you you go relatively flat to the ground there. I don't need you uh, elevating yourself dramatically. There you go. That's that's anything but dramatic elevation. Uh, the other thing here, of course, is I don't know if it's going to work. Um, uh, usually, I will at least make a, a raw material delivery direct to uh, that place that will uh, that will deal with said raw material. Um, and in this one, we're putting a we're putting an interstitial in the way. So my hope is it just takes a little bit longer than usual to uh, to to get rolling. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it won't work at all. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be fun finding out, isn't it? Let's put a bit of a curve on this one. Arguably, that's that's more curve than I'd, I'd really got in mind. Because I'd quite like the station to be... Uh, uh, to be, you know, a sensible layout in terms of, of hooking up with this road. Uh, let's have a look. Right. Give me a uh, medium country road. Let's be generous. Oh, that seems to have worked, doesn't it? Right, if we bosh this across there. Also, ah, yes, there's something worth mentioning. Um, something else that I did uh, while uh, while rebuilding the towns, I, I, I figured out a way, and this is not going to come as a surprise to, uh, it's not going to come as like, oh my gosh, what a revelation to uh, to those of you who've, uh, who've played a fair bit of Transport Fever. Um, but I found it to be, you know, really quite useful. Uh, let's do a live illustration, shall we? Uh, so let, we'll use large streets here. Now, you've got uh, two uh, somewhat parallel large streets, yeah? Right? Or any size street, for that matter. And you want to connect these up in a straight line, but you've got that many different snap points to make it happen. You're not entirely sure where the best place is. Here's the trick. Do that, right? And then you've got that much more fine control over the angles. You're still going to end up eyeballing it to go, well, that's that's not two right angles, is it? And you're going to go, well, we're going to going to need to shift that over there and keep shifting. And then finally you'll go, I have accomplished a right angle, despite the fact that these aren't perfectly parallel. Um, yeah, I, and I found that that actually made it uh, a whole lot easier to lay out my streets. There you go. You're welcome. Take that one. You can run with it. You knew it already, but, uh, you know, uh, we we live together, we learn together. That's uh, that's how it's going to be. Uh, right, so this is uh, El Paso refining. Um, that's uh, that's helpful. Uh, obviously, if I if I were to connect up the rail here, that would, that would possibly be beneficial. There we go. And I, and I'll, again, I'm not I'm not thrilled about this track layout. I'm going to get through, I'm going to get some of this polished. I think at uh, at some point. And then we've got the Great El Paso Viaduct going on here. We're going to need we either need another one, or we make a delivery to somewhere random. And I don't think that's uh, that's the, the the most sensible course of action. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll use this I'll use this track as well. I will I use this track? That's the delivery track. Primary delivery comes in on that one. So maybe I'll do this for now. Redevelopment will come. Don't worry. Uh, and then we'll double track this down there and take a spur off at the other end. Uh, especially when you consider that eventually uh, this uh, this viaduct it won't just be handling the, uh, the 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 fuel that's coming out of the refinery um, it will also be catering for uh, uh, 
all, in inverted commas, uh, local goods deliveries uh, for the magnificent town of El Paso. And, and you know what? It's going to happen here because that makes sense as far as why would you have this little external district kind of dealio. Make sure El Paso Annex is connected to your street network. Although I would do if I knew what Air El Paso Annex was. It's over there, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll hook up a bit of road. Everything will be fine. Um, so this this is going to be... Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> North American Distribution. Distribution. No, no, let's let's put the optional N on the end of there, shall we? There's a, there's a challenge. Uh, right. Good, excellent, splendid, and uh, and other words that I I tend to throw into the mix on a on a regular basis, uh, and then we'll we'll go a little bit further, and then we'll we'll merge that together like this, and then we'll take a we'll take a cheeky branch off. Uh, where should we take a cheeky branch off from? Something like that would probably do the trick. Now we're going to burn a bit of speed in the process. And I would very much doubt that that will allow me to put a slip junction on there. So uh, so we're going to need to double track that as well from here. There we go. And then we'll merge those two together. Uh, right, okay, so we've, 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 uh, we've figured out our, our purpose here. Uh, let's get rid of that bit. And instead, we'll put a bit of this in. Let's make a let's make a bold statement that we're we're going to make this uh, we're going to make this happen. Obviously, now I'm going to drive track straight over the top of it. Get rid of all of that. Uh, for those of you uh, afeared that uh, that I am just leaving dead bits of track uh, 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 road all over the place, don't be. They they will be included uh, within whatever it is we 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 finalise the building up thereof, uh, and it will work just fine. Uh, right. So here we go. Small station. Now the reason I like the small station here is because you also get a bit of uh, a bit of truck delivery uh, apparatus going on. So we'll start with what do we want track wise? Uh, let's go two terminals because that looks good. Number of truck terminals. We'll have two truck terminals. Uh, platform length we will make three three six, which is lengthy. Um, but this is this is all going to be good, and uh, number of tracks will have two street connection. I don't know what are we what are we choices here? Oh, would you look at that? That's that's pretty fab, isn't it? Um, yeah, I like it. Right, let's uh, let's give ourselves some breathing room here. Uh, right, yeah. So the, the small delivery station I'm going to use as my uh, as my primary uh, uh, method for, uh, for for getting goods. Uh, dropped off in the starting towns. Uh, over time, I will probably move to a uh, an alternative system, but initially we'll go with uh, with something like this. I'm not entirely sure how these roads are going to line up uh, fluidly, but uh, you know that's that's just something that we'll 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 figure out as we go. There we go. Use the use the crossing method, man. You just you just described it. Now you can do it for reals. There you go. One times crossing method dot com and it's not even anywhere close to being straight. Brilliant. Uh, try it again. Alright. Now, evaluate your angles. What do you think? I know, that's, that's pretty close. Well obviously it's pretty close pretty close the first time, but not not close enough. Uh, yes. I think almost. A bit more that way. It would help if I if I came in at this at the, at the right angle to begin with. It would help if it was connected up at the right angle, at a right angle, in fact. But no, we'll go with that and we'll uh, we'll let it roll. Uh, we'll then run a uh, a medium street out of here, uh, which will parallel along there and uh, marry that up onto the here. This one we'll we'll uh, we'll pay due due attention to uh, when the time comes. Right, back that up a little bit. Since we have two platforms, let's connect up both of these, and then uh, and then a bit of diamond crossing on the way out. If I can get one in, should be able to. Yeah, looks alright. Uh, can we? 
because there's a, ever such a gentle bit of slope there and a bit of a gentle corner happening at the same time. You know, anything could happen. Uh, right, now, I'm going to need to get across the track because, as it stands, delivering uh, anything here is going to be absolutely no help to us whatsoever. Uh, El Paso uh, Logistics. Uh, if we're going to go with a... No, change change of mind. Cool. Dramatic. Uh, distribution. Right. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and, and set in place... Uh, some uh, some naming conventions that we uh, that we stick to throughout the series. Uh, yeah, as ma as mentioned, I need to cross over the road here, otherwise we're not going to be able to distribute these goods to anywhere that might conceivably actually want them. Um, as much as we uh, we will optimistically uh, assume that this will grow in time, we have to uh, we have to you know make some kind of plans for that to actually happen. Right, it'd be nice if I could get this under here. Or would it be better to go under the next one? Well, see, we're either going to do that, right? And then obviously we'd put a bit of a bend here so you could build alongside the road. Or we do this one, right? Obviously not colliding with the pillar, which leaves more building space, but it will leave a bit of a gap next to the track. I, I mean, it's a, it's a doozy of a dilemma, that one, isn't it? Um... It really isn't. It's this is you know this is fairly knucklehead stuff. Just get on with it. That one, or bleh. okay. Well, that's that's kind of settled that uh, argument then. Can we get around here? Yes, we can. And it's got it's got room enough for for tiddlers. Uh, someone suggested that using uh, bus uh, bus depots, bus stations, to uh, as the as the measuring stick uh, next to uh, next to two pieces of road. Uh, worked particularly well at lining them up. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's not let's not mess around. Let's not cheap out on this uh, boulevarding that we have uh, to kick off with. Um, and uh, sorry, eighty-six different thoughts at the t same time. I will endeavour to complete one of them. Um, yes, the, using a, a bus stop, a truck stop by the side of the road is a good measuring stick for for what the AI can uh, conceivably stick in there. Uh, and it works. That, that works really nicely. However, uh, the AI will also endeavour to to, clip, to to put in smaller buildings uh, in uh, in less space. So the uh, the standard size buildings don't have to be the only way you go. Can I get a bit of going in parallel with the viaduct? Maybe. I don't think we'll be. I don't think we'll be able to do that. You can do. Uh, you can do track next to road. But uh, road next to track doesn't want to comply. Let's see if we can just pop a wheelie over here. I don't want to go too high. That's only three. That's three up, which is which is about my tolerance for that feels somewhat realistic. Uh, we'll go future proof on that. The slope here is more than I'd like. So we could we'd have to jump that one as well and head over to the next one. Which again, I'm not thrilled about, but it might be the better way to go. Let's have a look. Uh, let's upgrade this bit of road first. Oh well, yeah, easy come, easy go there, householder. Um, yeah, this would have been good to put in before I put the viaduct in. Um, no matter, or is it a matter? It's a matter. We could do it with a tiny little tiddly road, but that is not going to cut the mustard. We could try deleting just this section here. <laughs> ah, this isn't going to work. You're going to regret doing that. Uh, here we go. And like that. Straightish line. And then here we go. Go on, get over. Ah, first time. Like a pro. Uh, Marvellous. Okay, well that's good. Um, of course, this doesn't solve the original bridge that we were trying to create. Uh, do we want to go from here? Well, we'll try it from here and see what we get to. So if we go, that's that's track. You you want road here, right? Try it from there. Pop all the way over that lot, right? And again, no, that's two. That's three. There's the third one. That's very slopey. Uh, this side, very slopey. 
Uh, slope diminishes a little when you uh, when you iron girder it, as you obviously should. Um, and this is, I mean, this is a monstrous piece of bridge work. Two, I think, is going to be my limit. As much as that's going to prove to be a challenge, let's try that. Now we can get points in there, bizarrely. One, two, almost. Just couldn't quite get over the first the first road. But that's much more gentle. Right, that's the way we'll go with it then. There you go. I'm doing this at an angle that is very likely to uh, to ruin my day. There we go. Try that too. There we go. Got it. Okay, smashing. Uh, that'll do. Uh, and I know I'm a fan of bridges. I build them all over the ruddy place. But, uh, you know, I think that the uh, the end result tends to look quite nice. Uh, as long as the, the, the city founding fathers get their acts together and, uh, well, you know, build a city. Um, it only it only looks completely ridiculous if they don't bother. Uh, as as is as is something of a concern for this series, is uh, if I'm going to be putting in uh, uh, additional side street residences and the like, uh, you know, you want to be doubly sure that people actually make use of them. So this is not the most convenient way to uh, to, to cross the city at the moment. Uh, if we pull out a pull out a road here, that should leave. See, that's ugly, and that's what I mean. That's the stuff you're trying to avoid. So if I were to cross over the road, it would avoid it. Uh, but by and large, heading to the road in the first place should get you uh, get you where you need to be. Uh, right. Let's try that. See? See, it works. What isn't going to work, however, is trying to slip it under here as well. And there's, there's no way that happened. No, there's, there's just no way. Uh, we could skinny it down, maybe. But I think the bridge may be too low at this point. Yeah. Although, that worked. Alright, it's, it's, it's created just a little bit of a dip. Alright, okay, I don't mind that. That's that's not awful. Alright, now when we've got uh, when we've got more mature roads that will allow me to uh, to tarmac slash asphalt up uh, the uh, this this stuff under here, that should look pretty good. Uh, good, right, okay, now then, that's that working. That looks horrible right now, but we'll we'll develop that later on. Um, I'll also want more bridges going over here as we work our way through, but uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. So what we've got eventually, uh, we, what we have now established is we've got our, uh, uh, our oil going to the hub, going to a refinery, and going to an end delivery. That's not a bad way to start off. Uh, I'm going to change this, though, immediately. Right, uh, let's... I want access to all three stations, please. All three uh, platforms. Because otherwise, I'm going to have a... I'm going to have a hell of a time uh, if I decide to put anything on... Uh, on wait until you are full, thank you very much. Right, stick that in there, and then we'll uh, we'll double slip that. All right, we'll we'll figure out exactly how we make that work when we start running a train down it. Uh, meanwhile, this needs to this is going to complain periodically unless I connect it to some road. Done, uh, and then it would be beneficial if I also so that's my uh, that's my El Paso delivery route. I guess we could continue running this way with Sioux Falls. Or we could come out and do this side, but that means hurdling these these two bits of track, and I don't want to do any more hurdling than is absolutely necessary. You know what? It's quite refreshing to be doing this when uh, when there isn't a whole lot of a whole lot of city already built, where you're you're kind of envisioning how it uh, how it might look in the future, or or when I say envisioning, how you're desperately hoping it looks in the future. But I have a trick, or three, up my sleeve as to how we might make that work. Um, anyway, I'm still no no closer to answering my own question there. Uh, do we? I mean, we could do the same thing by this commuter station as well. I suppose. Uh, yes. 
Sure. Why not? Okay, right. Well, let's do that. There you go. Uh, let's go as far as here. And then we'll stick in our, our second our second small station here. This one only needs one track. Uh, and then uh, if I spin this around here, uh, number of terminals, one. This one only needs to be little. Number of truck terminals, two. We still need two truck terminals. Uh, and then we'll try and try and figure out a way to, to you know snap this onto the existing arrangement. Is that the one you want? Uh, you can't bend it. That's a bit of a bit of a shame. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to use the. I'm going to use a regular one here, and I'm going to try and marry it to the uh, to the curve we've already got going on. Uh, which means going anti curve. Right, and then it's not going to do it because the station here is curved and it's shorter. So I'd need to I need to live in there somewhere to, to, to match the curve. So if we straighten up uh, and then try and get in this bit, maybe I mean, how's that look? It looks really flipping close to the last one. That's how it looks. Uh, okay, well, with there's nothing to stop us running in parallel to the existing track, you know. Other than, you know, it doesn't really want to. Uh, how about that? What do you think? Well, you think it's bad. Is that what you're telling me? I'd really quite like to get it in there, you know. Uh, we could move this back some. Right, so if we do that and then uh, we run a bit of this out here... There you go. I, did, I hope you watch this stuff because you like to see me figuring it out uh, in real time. Because if you don't, then I imagine this is this is one of the uh, the less compelling uh, moments you've ever witnessed in a series like this. Uh, and then we could we could plop that in there. Now this doesn't do us any favors as far as the commuter section is concerned. But uh, why are you? Oh, it's because I'm, I'm. There we go. If we zoom out a little bit. Uh, 400 is really quite long, but we will be taking... No, actually, I don't want to take a mixed concept. We'll make this station shorter, and we'll make it work. And we'll make it line up with whatever we end up sticking in there. Uh, let's experiment with some curvage, just to see what that looks like. See, that, that looks halfway decent, but I do want to get... Uh, I want to get housing in the side of there. So we'll keep it uh, we'll keep it on the straight and narrow. We only need one platform. Let's put some more road in. Now I realise I am going slightly overboard on the on the big fat roads here, but I'm leaving the AI to uh, to lay in the the kind of the, the the little tiddly roads that people will actually make use of. Um, and therefore, I'm putting in some that can can handle. A bit of a bit of heavy traffic flow, right? Uh, since I'm here, let's do a bit of that. That was a, quite a lot easier than I anticipated. Um, right? Okay, let's just put this in, and then we will uh, we will develop uh, something. Yes, get rid of that. Do this. Have a good look at it. What do we like? What do we like? I think we like... We're going to leave enough room for a, for a truck stop there. That could do it. Okay, right. Well, let's truck stop now. Um, and then we know we've left enough space for a truck stop. Now, I've got no, uh, I've got no mod truck stops at the moment. So we'll just go with the, uh, the original beefy one. Because that's going to leave us some space. But again, I reckon that there's a very high chance I redevelop this. Uh, and then... Like that. And if I'm very lucky, this will now allow me to place track going over there. Like it just did. Uh, if I'm even luckier, it will allow me to build a bit of road. To nowhere. He uh, didn't think that through. Oh, that's a shame. Um... You just put road over rail as well. 
Uh, rail over road, which, you know, we're not allowed to do that. That's illegal. Uh, we go that way. Yeah, right. And then I, I, I bet this won't connect back up, you know. All right, I'm wrong. It happens. Uh, okay, right, good. Uh, right, we're almost there. We're dead because uh, the the real challenge here is actually going to be getting it in motion and seeing if uh, seeing if it works, even slightly. Uh, and run you down to there. Okay, right, good. So we're going to need to connect this truck stop up to somewhere that has uh, has you know demand um, in order to get that happening. Uh, so if we have a quick look at the uh, district area, so there's me yellow, there's the yellow. So that's that's going to be the best place to drop this off. Now I want to tease the uh, the city toward uh, toward building out um, in a, in a northward direction, uh, and as much as serving the whole of the, uh, the the industry that I've got right now is a is a good idea. Uh, I want to pull it as far as I can up this way, so we'll uh, we'll go with that, which you know isn't especially bold on my part. Uh, and then when it comes to El Paso, for some reason the industry is occupying everything next to the station, which is brilliant, um, and that's that's really not where I want to stick anything at all, uh, except possibly me bulldozer. And because we want to continue developing this way, go on. Never, n never afraid to bulldoze. Never knowingly measures anything. Right there we go. Stick that in there, and then we'll put that one on here. I, again, I don't. I'm not over thrilled with helping the industry right next to the station developing. But you never know. It might. Uh, it might end up being the uh, the the primary way to uh to get from uh, from a to b uh as far as people going to work and so forth who knows uh actually before we crack on does that yeah that i mean it also covers the commercial as well so that's actually a pretty good placement so this is going to be uh l yeah paso and uh, this will be uh goods receiving I'm going to have a tough time getting that name to fit, you know, but uh, as, as we look at extra extra towns further on, so we'll go from El Paso Distribution uh, down to uh, El Paso Goods Receiving. All right. Now we're going to need to pack that out uh, with, uh, um, uh, with... I don't know. I've lost my train of thought there entirely. I'm going to need to pack that out with wagons to get it working. Right, ELPS. We're going to go with a four name, uh, four code name letter convention for goods. Four letter naming convention. Uh, you can put it in the right order anytime you please, sunshine. Uh, you, 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 freight uh, delivery. Okay, right, good, nice. And then for our uh, our repeat performance, we'll do something similar down here. Now, this hasn't got to go very far at all. I don't see any reason why this won't work, other than, you know, all of it not working. Uh, Sioux Falls, so that's going to be S-I-O-F. Mm. No. Uh, we could put the X in there, because that's kind of quite defining. SXFL, that sounds quite dashing, doesn't it? Uh, XSFL, I, I, I've even got with colons, look. I mean, you know, we're using punctuation and everything uh, for delivery. Uh, right, okay, well, it's that, uh, you know, once the, all these are lined up, that's going to look really quite dramatic. Uh, and given that there's only a few cities on this map in total, uh, it should uh, should pan out. Right, let's get some depots on the go, get these trucks in motion, uh, and then we can uh, we can work towards getting uh, uh, getting trains in motion as well and you know where we're going to put it we're going to put this depot next to all my train depots why would you why would you not uh, right so by road vehicles so we'll go with the uh, the American horse cart here and we'll take uh, four of them there you go that should that should keep our uh, our, our time down 
Uh, X, S, F, S, X, F, F. Yeah, okay. But I think we've, we've seen the hole in that particular problem already. The hole in the problem. The hole in the language choice, friend. Uh, you know, you don't need to be quite so obviously critical with your snarky tone. Um, and then where should we put one down here? Look at this bit of road here. Who built that? Clearly someone who doesn't know about the drag it over both sides and it all just works philosophy. What do you think? Where do we where do we, where do we put these? Well, out of town is uh, is a is a good start. Let's uh, just go with that. You know, it doesn't really matter at this stage. Uh, we'll need a few more of these, so we'll go with six, four, five, six. Uh, set line onto Alps. Right, good. So that's uh, that's Alps and Sioux Falls now, both running freight wagons uh, that will be waiting for something, anything, please. Uh, to be delivered. Um, the issue now is that we're going to need four trains to set this delivery up. Um, that's a lot, isn't it? It's, that's that's not a small number of trains there. That's that's a lot of trains. Uh, the good news is we can we can set them all out from a depot that we're about to create up here. So if we go like that, and then uh, hold on, no, if you place the depot first, and marry that up nice and close to the the existing line right and then just make the track happen nice and close to the existing line okay well it's 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 quite happy to uh there's uh, no such thing as terrain alignment collision in these parts let's uh, let's smooth that down oh i didn't mean to do that oh i'm half a million quid better off i'll just delete that one uh, you can all remind me later on when I start being proud about how much stuff I've paid off that uh, that I got an extra a bonus hundred million, fifth uh, five hundred thousand hundred million uh, at one point and uh, and I haven't properly accounted for it. Uh, right, okay, now then, let's uh, bosh that up there like so. That's uh, that's that's pretty ugly. Yeah, this might become an actual fixture. This bit, so I want to uh, I want to get it looking nice. Uh, if we parallel along there, we can get rid of that lump. There you go. See, lump removal 101. When the smoothing tool just won't cut it, uh, but obviously the smoothing tool always cuts it. Sorry, smoothing tool. I should never have spoken ill of you. Right, just uh, get a bit of separation going. That's it. No, you didn't. You weren't. You weren't interested. Go on, go on. There you go. How's that? That looks all right. Bit of a wiggle. Bit more of a wiggle than I'm happy with. Right. Okay. Bulldoze. Yeah. Confirm instruction. Obviously, stick this back in here, but this time wiggle it that way a little bit. Wiggle it. Wiggle. Wiggle. Right, that should now be lovely. It better be lovely, I tell you. That's very close to lovely, but it's not. Uh, delete it back again. I mean, we've got nice, we've got nice smooth ground to play with here. Just, uh, just make it lovely. There you go. Better. It's better. Uh, right. Okay. Is that everything? I think it is. Uh, now we need signals. Well, yeah. Um, but uh, we'll worry about them in a moment. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four trains to uh, to plop in. Uh, right. Okay. Here we go. So, uh, so we're going to call this uh, F R H B Freight Hub. Uh, no. Uh, H B S H U B S Hub South. They are right. That's that's the name that we've gone with now. Um, Hub South uh, here oil, and then from here we'll go with uh, Hub South fuel. You're not using a colon. You you went to the effort of coloning elsewhere. Uh, fuel, All right? And then oil. I, I, my naming conventions are wreck. Lying by the side of the road, there's smoke pouring out of the bonnet, and nobody is stopping to help me investigate what's gone wrong. Uh, and then this one's going to be uh, Alps uh, yeah, fuel delivery. 
and this one's going to be whatever I called Sioux Falls S X F L. I think that's right. Uh, let's put the rest of it in. Hold on, no, this is uh, fuel uh, bulk fuel uh, bulk. Why not? Delivery with you somewhere else. I'm sure of it. So we're in the the heady early days, friends, of uh, of trying to uh, set naming conventions up, and uh, and that's always going to be challenging. Now then, let's go hubs fuel hubs oil first. Hubs oil, right? From out there, Sioux Falls West. It's charming. It's lovely. Uh, out to uh, North American distribution. Okay, right, easy. Next, fuel, we go from North American distribution. I realize that I'm going to have a, a, a bit of a mission trying to get that to work as far as uh, getting it on the right line. Uh, hubs fuel goes to El Paso Refining. Oh, these are some good names you've got happening here. Uh, and then we go from North American distribution. I haven't got enough platforms. I am aware of this. Uh, to uh, where, where was we Sioux Falls, right? Okay, to Sioux Falls, right? And finally, from uh, North American distribution, yes, to El Paso distribution. Right. Let's have a look. How's that looking? Uh, wretched. Okay. Well, you know, there's no signals on this yet. So the, the, we were always going to have to do something like this. To, to get it all uh, all ticking along fine. Uh, stick that on there. Let's build, let's one way these up and see if that uh, that resolves our problems. No, so far it hasn't. It's made the blue line do it right. Well done, blue line. Uh, I know. Again, those of you who are regulars here, again, he's using one-way signals. What have you done with the real kernel? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, One-way signals. In a, in a case like this, I don't want anything uh, monkeying with uh, with the intended operation of things. Right, let's kill off blue. Pink is... Yep, pink looks pretty good. Yep, pink looks pretty good. Uh, we'll, stick a, we'll stick an additional signal here so that uh, the returning uh, train from Sioux Falls doesn't have to hang around forever further down that no 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 you had it right there pink or did you yeah it's only red that i wanted to move so pink i want you at el paso distribution terminal one there you are look see see how that works that's quite clever ish um and then we'll stick one more on well, we shouldn't need it actually but uh, we'll put one there which is not necessarily a great idea, uh, as it could end up blocking that uh, blocking that junction. So we'll take that out, uh, and we're going to need another interstitial along the way. As much as interstitial and along the way are virtually the same meaning. There we go. Right. Now the good news is once you've got one uh, one uh, word I'm looking for is one-way uh, signal set up you shouldn't need to set any more on that line because it kind of you know it's the one signal to rule them all um, but you know I'll eat those words a little bit later if need be okay right now in order to get this on the right track we'll uh, we'll do a little bit of genteel something like this and uh, and let's set some trains up shall we right uh, I want something that is relatively heavy hauling uh, which is probably going to be the Baldwin at this stage, Locos. Let's uh, let's enable that, Locos. Oh, we got Baldwin class fifty six is two eight four and seventy. Okay, versus uh, well, we can't use those because they're all European, uh, and the general is nowhere near as good. Baldwin, it is. You are going to need uh, quite a few of these merry little tankers. Uh, let's go with. Uh, Let's start you on 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? And I'm going to duplicate that. Uh, you are off on hubs oil. Trot on. You are off on hubs fuel. You trot on as well. Uh, and then we'll build uh, we'll build a couple more. Let's go with... Ooh. More Baldwins, do we think? 
I haven't got enough platforms. We'll we'll see how that manifests itself shortly. It's it's bound to be an adventure. Um, no, let's go with uh, what's the running cost difference? One one four versus fifty two. It's half as much. Uh, we'll go with a pair of the. No, wait, 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 wait. Just one first, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is way too short to be profitable. I am aware of this. However, this should mean that we have exact perfect distribution on both lines. It's not going to work, but, you know. Uh, right, fuel bulk. Yes. And you go on Elps. There we are. Right, okay, that's your lot. Uh, that's, as, that's as much as you need for one day. Um, we're not going to get the two uh, to see monumental amounts of... Pr How did you get over there so quickly? All right, that's quite perplexing. Um, but there it is. Uh, so yes, next time around, what we're going to do is uh, hopefully this will be uh, this will be rolling a little. Uh, put a signal there; that will help him out. Um, but we've got a we've got a long way to go to make this profitable. Uh, so the next episode will be called Detroit, and uh, with a side order of making things work. Uh, yeah, as, as punchy titles go. It's the punchiest. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, uh, I do invite you to subscribe to this series. Yeah, I know you're hating this. Uh, but it's necessary. Otherwise, we're going to end up with queuing that we just don't want, right? The idea here is that uh, whichever train it is using the middle platform, it gets to come all the way up through this junction. And because it's only short at the moment, it can wait at that signal for the uh, for the oil train to do its to do its thing. Uh, anyway, yeah, chuck a subscription at this if you uh, if you'd like to carry on watching the series and uh, and fling a like at it because that's a nice thing for you to do. And uh, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Uh, let's give you something worth watching to finish off on. Uh, thank you very much for watching. There you go. Cheerio.